everyone. I am Alderman Will Stewart, and I'm here today with Mark Gomez, Chief of the Manchester Parks, Recreation, and Cemetery Division. And today we're here to talk about the city's new park ranger program. Welcome, Mark. Hi, Will. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. So let's jump right in, start with the basics. What exactly is the new park ranger program and how does it work? Yeah. Um, so the, the, the basic goal of the park ranger program is to discourage illicit activity and encourage the responsible enjoyment of our parks and trails. Um, the rangers uh, are patrolling the parks. Um, they will have a presence and uh, the the, the goal of, of that presence is to provide a safer environment for, for all the visitors to our parks. We have uh, three rangers right now, and um, they're currently working a staggered schedule uh, in order to provide coverage seven days a week from sunup to sundown. That's great. So how did this program come about? What was the, what was the need that kind of precipitated it? Yeah, um, the, the, the park ranger concept has been around for, for quite some time. I think our for over a decade. Um, and also at the same time, uh, our division, Parks, Recreation and Cemetery has been understaffed for quite a while, um, which has in, in, inhibited our ability really to Um, so I think the mayor's office was very attuned to this issue, and uh, when monies became available under the American Rescue Act uh, plan, uh, uh, they uh, were proactive in uh, funding um, these three new park ranger positions. Excellent. Glad we were able to, uh, to take advantage of this uh, when the circumstances presented themselves. So... I was hoping you could talk a little bit too about the, the types of issues that, that park rangers address and on the flip side, what types of issues don't the park rangers address? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, so the rangers are performing really a wide variety of tasks uh, ranging from enforcement of behavioral rules in our parks. For example, dealing with boisterous behavior or unauthorized drinking of alcohol or smoking of tobacco. Um, to removing overgrown brush, uh, which you know allows for greater visibility into the parks and increases safety in parks. Um, also, basic maintenance tasks like cleaning bathrooms, opening and closing gates. Uh, some of our parks have gates in the parking lots again in order to uh, uh, better enforce curfew rules and and, and the like. Um, and um, and then they're also coordinating with Manchester PD. Uh, when situations arise that are an immediate uh, threat to public safety. Uh, it's important to note that the rangers aren't making arrests. Um, they'll be the first responders when rules are being uh, violated, and they're going to attempt to resolve the issues uh, as best they can. Um, but if there's criminal activity occurring, um, they will call Manchester PD. Um, they may assist the police in uh, uh, responding to the situation, in dealing with the criminal behavior, but really uh, PD will be the law enforcement authority in those situations. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. So um, I know you mentioned there are three rangers total. Who are they and uh, do they receive any kind of special training to be a park ranger? Yeah, we're really, really pleased with the team we were able to put together. Uh, Bill Burke, is a former uh, police chief uh, from the town of Chester, and he's our park ranger supervisor. Uh, James Dellis is a long-term parks employee, knows parks and trails in Manchester like the back of his hand. Um, we're really uh, pleased to have him come over from our parks maintenance uh, group um, to be a ranger. And then Amy Runyon uh, comes to us from New Jersey, where she was a park ranger for several years for Mercer County. So it's just a terrific group in terms of experience. Um, and uh, we've also worked closely with Manchester PD over the last couple of months to develop a training. And just a few weeks ago, um, all three of the Rangers went through a week long training uh, with police um, to uh, learn more about de-escalation techniques um, and communication with police um, via uh, police radio or other means to uh, increase 
uh, the, the collaboration that needs to happen from time to time when the Rangers need to call the PD in to, to assist with the matter. Okay, no, that sounds, uh, that sounds great. Speaking of communication, what is the, the protocol if a resident uh, sees something of concern in the park? Do they call Parks and Rec? Do they call the police department? Someone else? Who do uh, yeah. you know, regular park users call? Sure. Uh, it, it really depends on the situation. Um, obviously, if there's an immediate threat to personal safety, public safety, that's a call to 911 and, and, and police will respond. Um, short of that, uh, you know, that's where uh, a call to, to the Rangers uh, really makes sense. So uh, ideally, the way we would like issues reported is through the Manchester NH Connect app. Mm -hmm. um, that's downloadable um, to anybody with a smartphone. Um, there are a couple of advantages to that app. It uh, uses a C-click fix platform. Um, you can take a picture uh, of, the, of the issue um, and submit that as, as, as part of your report. Um, and if you report from the location where the issue is occurring, then we have uh, coordinates uh, where we can respond to. Um, the, the, the app geolocates where the issue is reported. And that's really important, maybe not so much in small parks, um, but in larger parks or parks with uh, wooded areas or along trails, because we will often uh, spend quite a bit of time trying to find the location uh, and uh, the resident or the visitor of the park is more likely to get a quick response and a, and, a, and a positive response if we can find the issue more quickly. Um, so I really encourage the use of that app. Now, short of that, um, you, you know, residents can also call our Public Works Dispatch line at 603-624-6444, uh, 603-624-6444. And uh, their issue will be referred to the park rangers for follow-up. Uh, you can also send us an email at parks at manchesternh.gov, parks at manchesternh.gov. Um, but for those using either of those last two options, either the, the phone option or the email option, I just, I just want to restate the importance of being really clear and specific about where the issue is and also if it's occurring at a particular time of day, let's say there's a behavioral issue that recurs uh, in a particular park or trail location. If it's occurring at a particular time of day or on particular days of the week, um, please specify that as well so that we can actually see it when we go out and respond. Okay, and I'm happy to uh, to throw the link to where folks can download the Manchester Connect app and throw in the, the phone number and email address there as well. And again, if it's an emergency, if there's a threat to public safety or personal safety, 911 is the way to go, right? Correct. All right. So, you know, in addition to reporting issues that, uh, that happen in the parks, what else can people watching this video, other residents do to, to help the city parks? You know, to my mind, they're you know some of the biggest assets the city's had. The city has contributes to our quality of life greatly. We want to keep them uh, nice and make them nicer. What can we do to help you out, Mark? Yeah, volunteer. Uh, we love to have people in the community taking ownership of their local parks and trails. Um, there are so many that are already helping out by um, clearing brush or removing litter, making donations. Uh, Friends of Stark Park is a great example, but there are many, many others out there that are that are doing things. Um, this winter, we plan to relaunch our Adopt-A-Site program. This is a program that's been in place for about 10 years, but we've really not had the staff to give it proper attention. Uh, we're, we were able to hire a new project manager this uh, past year, and she's very excited about reinvigorating the program. So look for that. And um, also in the, in the interim, our maintenance staff are always poised to help out with cleanup uh, or volunteer efforts in parks. Um, we, we haul away litter and brush that's collected. Uh, we'll provide tools and bags um, for the work. So um, don't hesitate to reach out to us um, for those kinds of volunteer efforts. Probably the best way is to send us an email at parks at manchesternh.gov. Let us know uh, 
what kind of action um, you want to take, uh, what kind of uh, volunteer uh, event you're planning to have. Um, somebody will get back in touch with you and, and we'll work out ways to support you. Perfect. Thank you, Mark. And thank you, Mark Gomez, uh, Chief of the Parks, Recreation uh, and Cemetery Division for joining us here today to talk about the Park Ranger Program and how uh, ordinary residents can help keep our parks great here in the city of Manchester. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Will. Really appreciate the opportunity to get the word out. Awesome.